Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, new video. So in our previous videos, we have discussed the problems related to Thevenin's theorem. We have discussed the proof, and in the last session, we have discussed problems, two important kind of problems for Thevenin's theorem in order to make you clear about that theorem. Till now, we have discussed two theorems, and uh, uh, based on that Thevenin's theorem, we have one more kind of problem where dependent sources come into picture okay whenever we have in the circuit dependent sources what and all are the changes uh, required in order to solve the problem when we have any kind of dependent source in the circuit okay so i'm going to tell you that and after that i'm going to solve one problem related to which we are having one dependent source in the circuit okay for seven inch theorem you should be knowing it so what and all are the changes here is one change is in the z equivalent the method remains the same vth calculation of vth and z equivalent but vth calculation is okay but there is one change in the z equivalent okay z equivalent is not directly that uh, removing the sources and calculating z equivalent because we cannot remove the dependent sources in we have seen it in the superposition theorem as well that is we should be not be touching the uh, dependent sources if dependent sources we should be keeping it as it is that is we cannot do short circuit and open circuit for dependent sources so that's why if uh, in order to calculate z equivalent i've told you we should be eliminating the sources but we have one dependent source which we cannot eliminate that's why we should be knowing one formula for whenever we have the dependent source that is z equivalent is equal to voc divided by isc voc stands for open circuit voltage and isc stands for short circuit current obtained by shorting the terminals across which the z equivalent is to be calculated okay that is called as isc that we are going to see you while solving one problem dependent sources must be kept as it is while calculating equivalent impedance and should not be shorted or open circuit whether it is voltage or current source that only i have told you just now okay now consider a network now let's see this with a simple example consider a network so here now i have considered one network where we have one dependent source that is this is a current control current source here we have a resistor here uh, two of the impedances and one voltage source obtain vab equal to vth by eliminating the uh, load impedance that you already know right obtaining the load impedance by any of the network uh methods then z equivalent is calculating by shorting ab okay you should be shorting the ab and calculating isc so that z equivalent is equal to vth by isc okay this voc equal to vth okay so that's why we can either write voc by isc or we can directly write it as vth that is thevenin voltage divided by short circuit current okay isc one change what we should be doing is in order to calculate z equivalent in the circuit we have removed the load impedance we have calculated vth but now our task is to calculate z equivalent now in order to calculate z equivalent we should be shorting the terminals a and b okay z equivalent short the terminals a and b again after shorting we would and rest all the components keep it as it is that is the voltage source and all we should not be touching it we should not be eliminating anything okay short the terminals a and b okay after that do the loop analysis again try to find the values of current try to find the value of specially isc that is short circuit voltage so that we would be getting our equivalent impedance so now while calculating isc all the impedance uh, independent as well as dependent sources must be kept as it is okay i have told you you should not be touching any independent and dependent source while calculating isc so you should not be replacing this source by short circuit okay keep it in mind none of the sources should be replaced or short or open circuit that i have told you okay so these are the concepts you should need to be remembering whenever we have a dependent source so now let's see this what and all are the concepts we have told if you do not understand we'll solve one problem and try to understand it okay so now let's solve one problem and wind this session okay so this is that problem here calculate thevenin's equivalent circuit across ab the terminals ab in the network shown below using Thevenin's theorem concept only, but here now we have one dependent source. This is a voltage-controlled voltage source, Vx, where this Vx is across this 15 ohm resistance. You can see here, okay? That is Vx is equal to voltage across 15 ohm. Okay. So now, first thing is we should be finding the Thevenin's voltage. Then we should be finding the 
is c then we should be finding the equivalent that is vth by isc okay these and all are the things we should be finding now now they have also told us to calculate the thevenin's equivalent circuit across ap first thing the same thing step uh, according to the step calculation of vth how to calculate vth is this is very simple since we have the vth means we should be having one impedance that is this only this because uh, this vx vth that is the open voc equal to vth we have already seen that is open circuit uh, voltage so here we have an open circuit and this is the open circuit voltage here in this case that is vx okay along with that we have one current source so what we should be doing is vth is equal to i into r directly you should be solving here that is 15 into 5 okay the value of resistance is 15 current is 5 so directly we can write our vth is equal to 75 volt in the first step itself because it is already having open we don't have any load resistance here okay and also we should be uh, we are having one current source and one resistance here so directly we can substitute the value i into r and substitute it as 75 volt because this is already open right now next step is calculation of short circuit current isc in order to get this equivalent impedance right for that what i have told we should be shorting the terminals a and b okay and this is the short circuit current isc mark it like that between a and b then rest all the components keep it as it is 30 ohm we have one 15 ohm resistor here along with the minus plus because the direction is downward here this is 75 volt source which have calculated then we have one is 150 volt and 10 ohm and the dependent source keep it as it is plus minus 1 by 3 vx and vx is across 15 ohm resistance right so like this we have loops here so name this loop directly as isc because we know that short circuit uh, current is flowing through this loop okay directly name it as isc 30 ohm this is 150 10 and name this loop as something i okay now our goal is to find the isc current so now for that what we should be doing is solve for uh, these two loops separately so that we would be getting the value of isc our goal here is to find this isc value we have here two closed loops nothing much to do whenever we have two closed loops apply mesh analysis and solve it that's it okay now we have two loops here apply mesh analysis for loop isc first okay that is start from this 30 ohm minus sign outward 30 into isc okay then we have minus 15 into since this is between these two loops so isc minus i then we have plus 75 outward sign equal to 0 solve it minus 30 isc minus 15 isc plus 15 i equal to bring 75 to other side it would be minus 75 30 minus 30 minus 15 is minus 45 isc and write this 15i at the first is equal to minus 75 so this is one equation name it as equation 1 now similarly solve for this second loop here start from this 75 minus 75 this is upward minus then we have minus 15 this is for loop i okay into i minus isc then we have minus 150 then we have minus 10 and this loop current is i then we have minus vx by 3 okay this is vx by 3 right but the value of vx is we have here 15 ohm right we should be finding the value of vx right because we should not be having this vx term so what is this vx here this vx is equal to i into r right that is this is we know the value of resistance that is 15 so now we need to find the current value here current value is nothing but v by r 75 by 15 how much 75 by 15 it is 5 so that is equal to vx is equal to 15 into 5 that is 
75 divided by 3 we have here so 75 by 3 is vx is equal to 25 volt okay that you should be substituting here 25 sorry vx by 3 right vx by 3 is 75 vx by 3 is vx value is 75 vx by 3 is 25 so in place of this you should be substituting 25 okay so hope this is clear this is 15 ohm resistance if this is clear how this is 5 ohm because we have this 15 ohm in, in, along with this in series so we know that the value of i is equal to v by r the resistor value we already know 15 ohm so voltage value here we have 75 volt according to the thevenin's voltage so should that and get this value now that is solve rest of the thing minus 150 minus 10 i is equal to so here we have minus 25 if you bring it to other side it would be plus 25 so 75 minus 59 plus 15 isc minus 150 minus 10 i equal to 25 so now 59 10 i that is minus 25 i plus 15 isc minus 150 plus 75 that is minus 75 if you bring minus 7 sorry minus 150 and minus 75 this is minus 75 right that is minus 225 if you bring minus 225 to other side it would be plus 225 right so 225 plus 25 so minus 25 i plus 15 isc is equal to 250 right so yeah, I hope this is clear. Like this, we got two equations. So now these two equations, put it in the calculator. Separately find ISC and I. But our goal here is to find the value of ISC, not I. Right? That is again in the same equation. Substitute the coefficients. First is for I. Okay? That is 15 minus 45 minus 75. Next is minus 25. 250 so this is the value of i here that is minus 11.25 but we needed the value of isc that is minus 2.08 ampere okay so this is the value of isc which we have got okay or we can write this minus 2.08 since this is short circuit current this cannot be negative at all so you can replace it by 2.08 ampere downwards okay 2.08 ampere downwards so that's why when we write the uh, what to say equivalent uh, thevenin circuit the polarity would be getting changed for the thevenin volt that is it would be minus 75 volt so keep that in mind like this we got the isc current now now very simple that is directly find the equivalent impedance ZEQ is equal to VTH by ISC VTH is 75 ISC is 2.08 if we calculate approximately we would be getting around 75 divided by 2.08 36.05 ohms okay so this is the Z equivalent so we have got VTH Z equivalent we know right how to write 7 inch circuit the polarity changes this would be minus plus now since we got the negative current here okay so that's why this would be 75 volt along with the 36.05 ohms equivalent impedance and this is the 7 inch equivalent circuit across the terminals A and B if you want you can mention the load impedance 15 ohm not issues but this is our final thevenin circuit for this problem hope this problem is clear for dependent source so that's all for this session guys i've tried to discuss this problem as uh, easy as possible so like this video share this channel to a huge number and we'll see you in the next video with one more theorem okay thank you